Are you guys ready for a wine review? Good, because that's what you're getting today. I tried five different wines, five different days, and I also drank all of these with Tim, my husband, so you guys are going to get two opinions, and they turned out all really well. Like, I'm very, very happy with the wine selections that I was given because I did get advice from the wine person that works at my Trader Joe's and I also kind of went off of what the most popular wines um, are that are being sold a lot or that I see people buying often. So I kind of just accumulated all of those into one and found these five wines and I have hauled all these wines. So if you guys are watching my hauls and you're familiar with those, you'll kind of remember again these wines. I wanted to say that Tim and I are not like wine connoisseurs. We don't really know the wine lingo. We're, you know, we just enjoy drinking it. So um, if there's things that irk you about like wine reviews that people that aren't very good at um, describing wine, then don't watch this because it's just gonna annoy you. We're, we tried our best at describing, but honestly, it's just really, was it good or was it not? So let's go ahead and check out all of the wines that we tried. Yes, today Tim is joining me for this wine taste test and we're gonna start it off with the Mbali, what is this, Chenin Blanc Viognier. And we're gonna try it and let you guys know how it is. So. The price point on this is quite affordable, so we'll see if that is indicative of the taste of the wine, and we're going to try it and give you guys our honest feedback. And it is twist off, no wine corker needed. That makes it easy. Woo, smells sweet. The so it's 79% um, Chenin Blanc and 21% of Viognier. And this is from the Western Cape wine of South Africa. Let's pour a little bit and give it a taste. Thank you. You're welcome. And by the way, guys, I did have this chilling in our wine fridge, so it is chilled, ready to drink and try. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> very sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. Yeah, I um, definitely am more of like a Chardonnay drinker when it comes to white wine because I'm not like the most sweet person, but this is definitely a sweeter wine. It's pretty good. I actually think for a low low cost wine, this is really good. I agree. This is a really well balanced wine for the price point, and it has good depth of flavor. However, it is a little too sweet for my palate, so I probably would not pick this up again. But if I had friends coming over that I knew liked a sweeter wine, this is probably one that I would pick up that I could personally drink as well because it's not to the point where it's so sweet that I'm just like and, t yeah. and drinking fruit juice like this is um, it's well balanced that's pretty much my takeaway from this I agree entirely do you yeah okay it's good though I mean I think we can definitely have this on a nice sunny day and enjoy it in the backyard yeah it's growing on me a little bit yeah with every sip I take so well that concludes this day of wine tasting I will see you guys the next day we open a bottle of wine Welcome back to wine bottle number two that Tim and I are going to be taste testing. Benson here has got his juice. So, yeah, he's not old enough yet. Um, but this wine that I chose for today is the Bowen 2017 Pinot Noir. And this was $16.99, I believe. Anyways, um, I wanted to try this because it... I've heard really good things, so I'm excited. And this is a twist off, so let's twist it off. Oh, and I have some wine. I mean, duh, I have wine. Um, cheese and crackers. These are the, what is it? The Unexpected Cheddar and the Asiago Rosemary Cheese. So good. Ready, we're gonna try the wine? Cheers. 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 Cheers, Benson. 
Thank you. Yes. All right. That is jammy. Yeah, I think it needs to open up a little bit. Still, I agree. Though. It's um, vinegary or something. Is that what it is? No, it just has a little bit of a bite. You can tell that it has a good flavor to it. It just needs to open up. It's a bold wine. <laughs> yeah, so I think we're going to let it just sit for a minute. And then we'll probably go back in because it's kind of windy out here. But it is a nice day. It's cold, so. Dad, yeah. You're cold? Yeah. Is it because of the wind? <laughs> yeah, so I will check back in in probably a few minutes and let you guys know how it is once it's opened up. Here we are for round two of trying this wine. This is the Bowen once again, and we're just going to go ahead and see how it tastes. We let it rest probably like, what, 15, 20 minutes? We took our dog for a walk. That was a little good interlude to letting it sit. It's opened up. It's definitely much... Yeah much uh much better i stick with my initial like feeling is that it's very jammy it tastes like blackberries it tastes like just really dark cherry berry like very jammy i actually really like this wine and i'm not a big pinot noir drinker it's um just a different type of wine than i t typically get so that's my take on it i would you buy it again uh, I think so. It's um, it's a little bit pricier than what we normally get. I think there's better value wines out there. True. Um, but it is good. Um, I agree that it does have a cherry flavor to it. Uh, but it's it's delicious. It's very, very full flavored uh, and bold. It has a lot of flavor. I will say that. All right, guys. We will see you in the next wine review. Another day, another bottle of wine, and today we are trying the Petite Reserve Sauvignon Blanc. And this is the Trader Joe's label. I already took the little foily thing off because I got ahead of myself. The video wasn't rolling and I was like, I want some wine in my belly. And that's what I did. <laughs> Let's do it, I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> it's time. It is time for some wine. <laughs> If you guys are interested in this wine opener, it's called Rabbit. I think it's like all the rabbit ones, but this is all electric and the little wine cutter thingy is on the top. I can link it down below if you guys are interested, but yeah, this thing is awesome. You just charge it and it's ready to go and it needs to be charged. So first things first, let's pour this wine. So it's a remotely warm day today, hence my tropical outfit. We're going to dinner and we're just gonna have like a little tiny glass of wine before we leave. So Sauvignon Blanc is what? It's supposed to be a little lighter, right? Yeah. Lighter in flavor. And it is obviously very, very transparent and hopefully very light because I'm just feeling light wine. It says intense aromas of melon and gooseberries with a crisp long finish. Mm. I definitely smell nodes, nodes of, of fruit for sure. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it does smell fruity. Okay, let's get to it. Cheers. Cheers. Well, that's sweet. Mm. Yeah, it's not that bad though. It's not that sweet. To me it is. It feels very light. It tastes very light to me. It's, it's light. Flavor. I agree. It's light. It's crisp. <laughs> but it does, definitely has like sweetness on the tip of my tongue. Do you taste yeah. that? Oh, uh, there's there's sweetness for sure. I'm not denying that. Yeah, let me taste it again. I'll join you. Mm -hmm. I still think I like Chardonnays better. They're like more buttery. Um, this one, it's hard to describe. You like this one. I think it's nice, yeah, I do like it. So I'm just feeling like it's a little on the sweet side for me. Um, I like a drier wine, something that's a little more creamy tasting, if that makes sense. But um, I'm definitely, I don't hate it. I will say that. I don't hate it. It's just not my flavor palette of white wine, as white wines go, because I'm a red wine drinker mostly. So my assessment for this, final thoughts, is if you guys like a sweeter wine, crisp, light has a lot of flavor um i would say this one is really good for you um if you guys like the chardonnays the more buttery the more dry wines i would say this one is not for you 
but I think this would make a really good spritzer, honestly. Adding any type of sparkling water to this, oh, that would be good because it would kind of just tone down the sweetness a little bit. Or the opposite, you can make a sangria and use that sweetness oh, and it might true. be pretty good too. That's a good idea. Sangria. I love sangria. All right, we will see you in our next wine review. Bye! Another wine! Yay! So this one that we're trying today is the Terrain Vineyards. It's from California, 2016 Red Blend. So it says on the back, Terrain Vineyards Red is a rich and balanced big red wine. Um, it's loaded with ripe fruit, finished with a touch of toasted oak and silky tannins. This is perfect wine to serve at your next party, but structured enough to stand up to meals from grilled meats to rich red sauces. Can't wait to try it. So I got our wine glasses here Let's for us. Do this. Yeah. Time to try. Oh, I'm doing a heavy pour. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. Well, like we're, we're not gonna finish the bottle, so. Right, I know. <laughs> Happy weekend. That's I like really this. Good. It's really good. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even so need to smooth. open up. So smooth. It is. Yeah. So one of the reasons I picked up one of these bottles is because it's been flying off the shelves. Everyone's buying it. And um, one of my coworkers said that it is just a really easy to drink table wine. Um, yeah, all of the above. It was just delicious. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm going to take another sip, but... It's only a 2016, it tastes, and it tastes really good. It does, like it has a little bit of acidity on my tongue. Very light though, yeah. very light. It's, it's a bold flavor, very <laughs> rich, um, full bodied, and it's, it's delicious. Really good. Why is it every time I take a sip of wine, this is always, I'll take a drink of wine and I cough. It makes me cough. Do you guys know that, like the science behind that? Is that, or am I just weird? I mean, you are a little bit weird, but. I am, but. I am, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really delicious. I, it's just well balanced. I feel like this, the balance is everything in wine and that's kind of what I'm learning as a wine member. Um, it's just having a well balanced bottle of wine makes such a big difference because if you have too much fruit in one or not enough fruit in another, like it totally throws it off and it doesn't taste good. It just tastes too acidic or too sweet. And like this is right here, a perfect balance. And I taste, what do I taste? Plum. Blackberries, Plum. yeah, like yeah. dark veg or vegetables. <laughs> dark vegetables, yeah, that's what I taste. No, dark fruits, so good. I give this one a very high rating and I think it's pretty affordable, so. I think you guys should buy this one for sure. This is a good one. Yeah, I agree. It's really delicious. All right. Well, that's it for this wine review. See you in the next one. Wine review number five. So today we are trying the Frida Rosé. And the reason I picked this bottle, well, there's two. First and foremost, I love the label. It's really cute. It has a little ladybug on it, some flowers. It's very pretty. Very girly. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, and then the second reason is that it's been being bought up by a lot of people. So I see a ton of people purchasing this wine and I was like, okay, I wanna try it and see what it's like because when I think of summer and I think of wine, I typically go to a rosé because rosés are pretty and they're fun and they've come a long way. I feel like rosés have gotten a really bad rep because people tend to think that they're sweet, which is not the case. Like there are sweet rosés, but typically they shouldn't be like overly sweet. Um, and just because they're pink does not mean that they're sweet. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and do a little pour or a big one. So this is what it looks like in the glass. It's actually a really light pink color. It's pretty. It's not, it's not too much. Cheers. Smell it. Ooh. Oh, that's light. I like it. Yeah, I yeah. do too. 
-hmm. It has like a, a definite subtle sweetness to it. It is light, like Tim said. Um, I just, I think it tastes, uh, I just got done saying like rosés are not always sweet. And this one has like a subtle sweetness. It's definitely not like a Moscato or something like that, but it definitely has like fruity, fruit forward flavors. That's that's what I'm tasting is like a lot of fruity. Let me see if I can get it. I wouldn't it. label it as sweet. I think for a rosé, it's very light. It doesn't, it's not an overwhelmingly mm -hmm. like sugary flavor to it by any means. Tastes kind of like pear. That's like the main fruit that I'm getting. Let's see what it says on the back. It's a 2017. It's a delicate pale pink hue. Reminds you of a warm spring sunset. That's no coincidence. That's Frida to a T. With its elegant fruity aromas and crisp delectable finish, Frida is perfect for pairing with lobster risotto, raw oysters, grilled sea bass, or long lazy afternoons. Mm -hmm. I pick long lazy afternoons. Yeah. <laughs> What are those like? I know, seriously. <laughs> when you have a two-year-old, there's no such thing. But um, at least we still get to enjoy our glass of wine. And I, I definitely like this wine. I would buy this again in a heartbeat. I think it's amazing. It has just a really nice overall flavor. I think this wine would be a crowd favorite. I think a lot of people would like this. So it's good to bring to a party if you're you know, wanting to share with people. And it, it's not a terrible price point either. It's a, it's a very decent price for a decent bottle of wine. So I definitely like this one. Yeah, of the five wines that we've tasted so far, this one's one of my favorites. Yeah, I agree. I think so too. Well, that is going to be it for this wine series. I did five wines in this one. And I feel like I tried to get as many different styles of wine that I could um, while also keeping in mind price and um, personal preference by customers and the person that wor works in the wine section at my Trader Joe's. So all in all, I think this was a success. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments below which wines you're excited to try. Um, if you guys want me to try a wine and you have a suggestion, please write that as well. I love getting your guys' comments, questions, suggestions, all that stuff is great. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Cheers!